Good day, you too. I hope you're all well. I'm doing pretty well. Bike looks great. I know you can see it. It's right there. <laughs> uh, I don't look too bad either. That's a lie. Uh, this company, Kemimoto, the people, they were nice enough to reach out to me and they, they've given me some stuff to do a quick review. By the way, thank you for watching. That's pretty cool of you. We're going to start with the biggest box and work our way down to the smallest box. No reason why. That's just the way I want to do it. We're going to pull it out of the packaging here. We're going to take a look at the instructions and then we're going to install it on this lovely 2021 Sportster S. Hey camera, how you doing? Let's check it out. Maybe it was just all money and diamonds. That'd be amazing. Shazam! Okay, I knew what this was. Um, what this is, is a little rack that sits in the back of your bike. One, two, you know what? Pretty nice packaging. Because we all know where this stuff is coming from. So. Okay, first things first, this is the rack that's going to sit on the back of the bike. And we'll go over, obvious, obviously, we're going to go over all that. This is the attachment that kind of replaces your little cowl that pops off behind your seat. Pretty much mimics it, bolts in, one, two, three bolts there. Secures it to the bike and this bad boy sits on there right like that and we bolt her all together Not bad looking I don't know how thick of a steel that is but thick enough It looks like it's all one piece just stamped out so there's no welding or anything like that What else we got here? I'm guessing this is the hardware Where's my knife? Said instructions how to put it on Alright, there's your hardware Boom boom, nice tool to put it on Oh, they give you, oh, they, obviously they give you the hardware, of course they do in some type of reflector tape or something, but who uses reflective tape? Safety. Safety first. The product manual. The one, twos, and threes and how to put it together, and the one, twos, and threes and some other language how to put it together. But I kind of like the little marketing bit here. Complete journey of dreams. Kemimoto. I don't know how big they are, how long they've been around, but... So far, so good. Hey, and they gave me free stuff, so wicked awesome. I love them. Um, instructions, yeah, yeah, I just covered them. I, you know, guys, we all know, nobody uses instructions, right? I don't know if uh, if the rest of you are like me, but I usually just whip these in the garbage and together the wrong way, then try to figure out how to put it together the right way, and, and then dig the instructions out of the garbage that I threw in there, and then realize I did it wrong and take it all apart and do it again. The next, uh, next step here is just putting it all on. We're gonna pop off the old cow. Got a little spoiler in the back there. Keep keep your back end down there. Kind of put it that way and hold things from going left to right. But no, it's supposed to go this way, and that's the way we're going to do it. But when I put it on, I'm going to kind of flip. I'm going to put it both ways because really, you can it, once you buy it, it's yours. You can put it on any damn way you want. These little louvers, for lack of a better word, obviously if you mount it upside down, are going to get in the way. But uh, nothing a hammer can't fix. It smacks the crap out of it, flatten out. But anyway. Let's uh, let's get to it. One, two, install a roux. Here's how it looks. The rack that goes in the back, our mounting plate to the bike, the hardware and the tools to do it, and the good old instructions. Got my little GoPro here. I'm gonna try to do it so you can see everything in my hands, a couple different angles. Hopefully that works out and looks pretty good. Not rocket science, guys. This little, your real cow pops off um, and your uh, mounting bracket is going to mount here on the bike. Couple of things you got to undo first. Let's see if this makes. We got to get th uh, this bolt here out. It's a little Torx bit. The tool they provide you works, fits that, which is kind of nice. They made their hardware the same as the hardware that comes on the bike as far as sizing and things go. So that 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 was just good move. That was smart. Good good on them. That pops out now. What's going to differ from my bike than yours is I actually have a, a, a taillight mounted underneath here. Oh, I have to take that off. Yay. All right, let's just put all that back together. Oop, just drop it on the ground, never to be seen again. All right, so now that that's all freed up here, I'll show you. You got a couple little holes here and here. That's, uh, those, are, those will be open on, for you. They won't have anything in there, unless you have some type of aftermarket taillight. Or something else. I think maybe a two-up seat might go in there. Um, not sure. Don't really know, but I, that's just me guessing. Pretty simple. That just drops on. Et voila. Um, now the most difficult part probably will be... Actually, you know what, guys? Do it this way. Feed the nut. Don't do it that way. So... Let's see, see this little hole here? I would just drop the screw through first. Now that it's hanging through, you see it right here? That's what I would do. Just look, there you go, pretty simple. 
And it's, instead of trying to feeding it through the hole, I think that would be the easiest way of doing that. I think. I don't really know. Ah, maybe a little. I might know a little bit. Okay, next. Screws drop through here. They're going to go through those existing holes that I just took my, um, my taillight out of. They drop through. Pretty easy breezy. If you can turn a screwdriver, you can do this at home. It's pretty self-explanatory. You, again, you don't need the instructions. Instructions. Now a rack. Not bad. Woo that bad boy just sits on top. Not rocket science here. It's all pretty easy. It looks pretty good. Kind of has a um, Mad Max look to it. I'm gonna strap on some gas to this bad boy and go rip around Australia and be Australian with gas. Mad Maxi. I'm taking this off for a reason. I would say you also have the opportunity of flipping this bad boy. Now, they may not want you to do that, which is fine. But, and here's why I say this, as I drop hardware. Ooh, I caught it, I caught the hardware. You know, I hope you guys at Kevin Moto don't get too mad, but this is why I say this. Because it gives you a nut point right here to keep things from moving left or right. So if you had something snug in there, you know, this is turned down a little bit. You got these little louvers here. You can hammer those out of the way or whatever. But it just kind of gives you something left and right. So if you had something that was heavy or not too heavy, this is no by no means holding people. Probably could though. It is pretty sturdy. But let's put it the way they want it. They designed it. It's their product. And you know, you can mess around with stuff after you have it. But we're gonna put this all down nice and tight. I love when places give you all the hardware, or sorry, the tools to put everything on, AKA IKEA. Um, it just makes life a lot easier, especially if you don't have a lot of tools. Some people do, I have a good amount, not a great amount, I'm not a mechanic. I just like to do things myself because I'm one of those people who are, you know, you want it done right, do it yourself. You know, I, that's part of it, but the other part is, I just like to do things myself. So there we go, that's, that's pretty good, man. There she is, she's on there. So that's how it looks on the bike. That doesn't look too bad. Let's go over here. You really can't see it that much. It's kind of hard in my, my garage here. Let's see, we kind of get a bit, some better views here for you. But good, sturdy. You know, if I was to complain one little bit, if I was to make, not complain, if I was to make one, uh, one little comment to Kemimoto, these kind of raised nuts here. That's something I would um, maybe change. Try to have a flat top nut, just cause you know, if you're strapping things on there, it's lifting things up, they're rocking around a little bit. So maybe like, um, you know, like a T-nut a or something. I don't know if you guys ever skateboarded, what were they, rat nuts? Is that what they were called? But something a little bit more flat or recessed or something, that would be my only complaint and that's a pretty baby complaint. Really, my job is to put it on, show you guys and, you know, and critique it. I hope you enjoyed that video of me putting the rack on the back of the bike. Again, thanks to Kimimoto for everything. If you guys are interested in that rack, there'll be links in the description below. I do believe they're going to give us a little bit of a discount code. So if you want it, great. We can get a bit of a deal on it, which is always great because money doesn't grow in trees anymore. And there is a little bit of a surprise to come in the near, near future as well. Some of you know what I'm talking about. Some of you don't. Peace out, brothers. Uh, there's going to be another video coming up with another accessory real shortly. Thanks again, everybody. Please subscribe, and as always, rock on to the break of dawn.